This is the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. It's the latest edition Android watch by Mobvoi. It does have a pretty long name, but they really wanted you to know that this is a very pro watch. It's their latest edition Android watch based on Google's Wear OS. Let's go ahead and start with unboxing this and I'll cover various amounts of chapters that I have linked down in the timeline and let's get straight into it. So just a few accessories that you find in the box. Of course, you have yourself the watch and we'll dive into that in a second. You have yourself a quick start guide and you have yourself the USB magnetic charger. On the back of the watch, you'll see there's the magnetic pins. You literally just snap that on and you are ready to charge this. Now, before I get started to cover the design and various other chapters of this watch, let's go ahead and set this up for the first time with my Android phone. First, let's talk about the setup. This is based on Wear OS by Google. So once you download the app, in addition to the Mobvoi app, which was formerly known as TickWatch, the setup was very easy and straightforward. I was up and running first time by pairing my Google Pixel and the TickWatch together within less than five minutes. So let's take a closer look at the design. It boasts a 1.4 inch large AMOLED display, which features a damage resistant Corning Gorilla Glass, which is also anti fingerprint and is bright enough to display very well in sunlight. It only comes in one color, black, but it has these soft rubber straps that you could easily remove and replace with any other using the tiny switches at the bottom. The casing is made of stainless steel and high strength nylon with glass fiber, but the overall design of the watch has a military grade 810G build which is built tough enough to handle drops, shocks, overheating, and its ability to handle rain, sand, or dust. It has an IP68 waterproof rating, so it's absolutely fine to run under a tap or the shower, but you can even use it in the swimming pool as well, on pool swimming mode, up to a depth of 1.5 meters for no more than 30 minutes. In terms of the battery, in smart mode, you could potentially get up to 72 hours of usage on a single full charge, but if you switch to essential mode, it could last up to 45 days, which is amazing if you just want to use the watch for only the basic of information. Now, just to highlight the key features and specs, right off the bat, this has Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 and Mobvoi dual processor system, making it ultra responsive when using and navigating. It has 24 seven health monitoring capability through heart rate, blood oxygen, and sleep pattern monitoring. Great thing is that this can alert you perfectly by providing real-time updates to things like fatigue assessments. The other great thing is that if you put the watch on essential mode to expand the battery life, you can actually customize the backlight color. You simply open up your list of apps, scroll to essential mode, swipe to open its settings, and scroll right to the bottom and select backlight color. Change to whatever color you like, and then on essential mode, that's the color of the backlight every time you wake your watch, which personally for me is a real nice feature. So let's talk a little bit about the Wear OS and starting off with just the buttons on the side. The first one is the power button. If you hold this down for three seconds, it turns on your watch. If you press it for two seconds, it wakes up voice assistant. So let me show you an example. Tell me a proverb. At the table, you don't get old. This Italian proverb tells people to slow down and relax at mealtime, to forget about everything and enjoy the food and the people they're sharing it with. And then if you hold this button down for five seconds, it will restart the watch. And if you hold this down for 10 seconds, it will force restart the watch just in case it has frozen or anything like that. The second button there at the bottom is the multi-function button. If you just press this once, once it's wake, it will go into exercise mode. So this will use tick exercise, you can go through almost around 100 different types of exercises, which I think is great. If you hold it down for a couple of seconds, this will actually go into the quick settings. So you can drain the water out of the speakers, set it to essential mode, or just restart or power off. There's a couple of customizations you can do as well, which I think is great. If you swipe right from the home, this gives you five different widgets that you can customize to show different things. So I have weather, events, my heart rate, and a calculator. In the settings, you can adjust what you want these to do. If you swipe down from the top, you've got your control center to turn it on to airplane mode, go into settings and various other options that are very useful, including Google Pay. 
If you swipe left, this is your daily news feed. So you can have the weather, the latest forecast. You can also have a bit of a snapshot headline from the latest news. And then if you swipe up from the home, these are your notifications. You press the button once to go into the app list and then you can cycle through all the various different apps and you can add more apps through the Wear OS store on your phone. The watch also has NFC, so you can utilize Google Pay for contactless payments. This is pretty standard on every smartwatch and for me personally, it's a must have. And you can also make and receive calls directly from the watch itself using the inbuilt mic and speaker. So here's an example of me calling myself and how the speaker sounds. Hello. Yeah, not too bad. I'm just doing some recording in my studio. That's good. Just got to see how's the new watch. Yeah, the watch is pretty good. I'm enjoying using it with my Google Pixel. Um, by the way, how's the audio coming out for you through the speaker? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's really clear. I can hear you um, very clearly. Yeah, that's what I thought because I can hear you very clearly as well, and my volume's set to max, so I'm quite happy with that. But I'll let you go. Thanks for checking in anyway. And I'll speak to you later. Alright, bye. Bye. Now I have the GPS version of this watch, which is a key feature because it gives you access to all five global satellite systems to help you track your routes and even guide you via navigation pretty much anywhere in the world. I simply just start an exercise that requires GPS for tracking, like an outdoor walk for example. It waits to pick up a GPS signal and once it does, you start your route and it's as simple as that. Once you're finished, you can see the tracking details and a view of the route as a map, which goes great with a fitness app like Strava, which I've linked to my watch activities, and I can see more detailed information about my activity and a larger map that was routed out through the GPS feature. One other thing I really like is if you open up Spotify, you can actually play back your music offline during workouts, for example, so that you're not interrupted by any calls. Just need to have the Spotify app, and then you switch on this toggle called offline mode, which will make it very convenient for those that just want uninterrupted access to your music. As with most watches, you can change the face. If you just hold down the face once it's woken, then you can just cycle through and select whichever one you like. Or if you go into the app, you can find more faces and download that to your watch. So I think that's very convenient. Overall, you know, I've had a very good experience with the responsiveness and this is partly due to the tech that's inside this watch, like I mentioned earlier. So some of my final thoughts from a performance standpoint, this has been super smooth. It's been very responsive and has a great set of features and apps that you'd expect from a premium watch, especially in this price range. So this is something that I would definitely recommend for any Android user. This comes in at 300 euros. Check out the link in the description if you wanted to check it out, maybe purchase it. And if you guys have any questions about the capabilities of this watch, as usual, drop a comment down below. Happy to help you out. If you like this video and you like all things tech, I have new videos out every week. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones. Like this video and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.